Hello Bobcat Nation, want to know what happens in the day of a software engineering major? Well, follow me in today's Quinnipiac Day in the Life. Hey guys, I'm Hepzibah Rajan, but I also go by Hannah. I'm majoring in software engineering here at Quinnipiac University. I come from India, but I was born and raised in Amman. The reason I chose Quinnipiac was my advisor back in high school told me that it was a good idea to come here because all the tech companies on the West Coast were kind of setting up their bases in the East Coast. And if I still want to stay here after graduation, I would definitely have a higher chance of getting a job. So it was just the job opportunities and also I came to know that the engineering faculty here is great. I'm going to head to the Quiet Lounge right now. We're going to get some homework done. Sometimes I like coming to the Quiet Lounge because I, it just helps me concentrate. But sometimes when no one's there, I video call my parents because being oceans across, the only way I usually talk to them is I video chat or I'm constantly texting them, I'm constantly talking to them, so this room kind of just seems like the best place to do it. Now that I'm done with homework, I'm actually going to head to my software engineering class. I have class Professor Jonathan Blake, he helps me with everything. You can walk into his office hours and he'd be more than glad to like help you out. We do Java and that's what we do in our second semester. Being a freshman, your second semester is a different language from your first semester. You learn Scala in your first semester and then you do Java in your second semester. The reason I picked software engineering was I basically came across a video and it was about a blind man who was completely aided by these glasses that he wears. The glasses use a tech of AI and describe everything that's happening around him. And seeing that honestly inspired me to become a software engineer and maybe someday be able to make tech like that that could help the disabled. I just finished some of my homework and we're doing pretty well. My next class is software engineering lecture. My professor is Ruby L. Carbotley. To make us un better understand her lecture classes, she kind of makes us do some of it on our laptop too. Whatever we kind of do in our lecture le classes is what we practice out in our lab classes and Professor Ruby helps us with understanding what concepts are there and then the lab professor just briefs over it and he tends to get to the practical part of it where we actually sit down and code it all. The software engineering lecture classes are pretty easy. She has like a quiz for us sometimes. It's only one quiz that we've had so far. It's called a checkpoint. So she just checks how far you know everything that you've studied. It's technically just to make sure that you're on track and you're not losing track of what you've learned so far so that she knows what your weak points are. This is one of the reasons why I think the engineering faculty here is really, really helpful because they always have tests to help you become better at what you do, to help you understand and just in general to help whatever it is that you need help with. You can always go to them during the office hours and get it done. So time has come for me to finally go to class and now I'm going to be going to my software engineering lecture class. So I have English now. And after that, I'll be having my computer science lecture. It's pretty much just a 15 minute break between the two classes, but apart from that, it's gonna be fine. It's just a super chill class. We all just sit in a circle and he makes us talk a lot. Our main topic that he's divulged into this year is utopian dystopia. After my English class, I ran to my computer class. We spoke about two different types of sorting, bubble sort and merge sort. This is still the basics of Java. I'm heading to a club meeting. We usually have this every Thursday at 6.30, so it's exactly 15 minutes after my last class. It's called QCC, the Quinnipiac Computing Club. It's basically just time for anyone who's interested in the club, honestly. Anyone can come. You just go have fun, eat some food, meet your friends. The clubs are all for fun and you can just come at your leisure. It was crazy. We played some games. I came seventh place. It was so bad. I have never played video games in my life, but it was fun. Just the experience of being there is honestly great. And we have a competition next week. It's called Coding Jeopardy. I'm excited for that. A lot of things happening in this club. I kind of do Q30 TV just because it's like kind of out of my major and I really wanted to try something new when I came here. So I felt like Q30 was the way to go. Q30 is my safe haven. The cast and crew that I have at Q30 is really unique. It's just nice to be part of such an amazing crew. This is what I do when I'm not busy coding or sitting alongside my computer friends.
there are around 154 clubs at Quinnipiac, which is definitely the most amazing thing because if you just want to not think about your major for just maybe an hour, all you have to do is like attend one of your club activities or participate in something and you'll honestly feel so much better. Computer science is mainly just coding and not seeing what's happening visually, but in software engineering you're taught how to make it happen so that you see what's happening visually. To be a software engineer is really amazing because I feel like the connection that a student shares with their professor here is completely out of this world. So that brings us to the end of today. Be sure to check out other Quinnipiac Day in the Life videos to see Quinnipiac all for yourself. Go Bobcats!